How you doing, bub? Welcome to the malware. I am Matt. Good to see you again. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. I, uh, I wanted to show you the reason why I love indie games. And it's actually this game called Axiom Verge. Oh, that was the convenient timing on OBS's part. <laughs> and already, listen to that. The soundtrack is amazing. Uh, we're gonna restart. These are files I redid a long time ago. We're gonna restart right at the beginning. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of talk to you throughout the game. Show you... Uh, it's, it's, it's my favorite of the... It's it's better than Metroid, in my opinion. It's a very metroid -y game. It uh, it just controls so much better. I I feel like I connect with the, the world more. The creepy vibe, the atmosphere. Trace, it's charged and ready. Thanks, Hammond. Hammond. Only it would work this time. And some knobs. Yeah, we're gonna go through this whole thing, so... I hope you enjoy, because this is... I hope you want to check it out. Uh, the reason why I wanted to check out this game was actually from Cinemassacre a long time ago, back in 2015 or 16, I think. Weirdly enough, it's like they went through uh, Mike and James back on back in the day when they played together. That's why I wanted to get this game. I saw them playing it, I was like, man, that looks awesome. Music's great. All right. One thing I'm going to start you off with right now is the amount of support that Tom Hap, Thomas Hap, put into this game. It's phenomenal. There's a gun in the next room. You must use it. He's absolutely, like, clearly a gamer at heart, for sure, Tom Hap. He thought of everything. That's why in the main menu, previously, you saw a speedrunner and a randomizer button. But option. That's because the community, one, made their own randomizer, and two, he obviously liked watching speedruns. And he thought, man, maybe I can make a speedrunning game. Of course, this is all kind of speculation. I'm gonna show you the strategy. I'm not very good at it. I'm not really a speedrunner, but... The whole plan... Figure out where the hell we are. This weird alien world. I believe it's soon... soon grow. First off, we need to get a weapon. In very Metroid fashion, you gotta go find weapons and return to where you came. Just, man, listen to that music. Oh yeah, we're taking damage, by the way. On purpose. Sorry for the annoying beep, but we'll, we'll try to get that back. As you can tell, not a very good speedrunner. <laughs> Nova. Firing once launches a large projectile, firing again causes it to detonate. Just like that. And now, we return to menu. Back from whence we came. I do want this to be a 100% run, so we are going to do that. However, I'm just going to show you the speedrun strat to get to later on. I very likely will die. So this is why we need Nova. Get into this door. But ultimately, 
ultimately fight our first boss. And I mean, just look at the visuals. Some great, some great pixel art right here. Trap of trap. Demon. Oh, hey, you can talk about this is lost in the demon. Athetos, sorry, kill. I don't know how to say his name still. Athetos? Athetos? Difficult boss. Just kind of erratic the way he moves around. For sure. No, we can we can see a much harder boss later. Down we go. Got our nice drill to get us through walls. Always a good thing. One of those over there is a power move. Into a little bit stronger there. Cutting right through those walls. Now we do a little bit of backtracking. I think in the speedrun mode at least, it might be faster to have grabbed the power node and dipped. Reset again? I don't remember. Now we drop down. We skip a lot of these rooms because we can't get most of this stuff. Health node. Get a little more health in the in the system. And drop. Goodbye, Arabu. Hello, I forget the name of this area. But I'm gonna continue on with the speedrunning strat here. As much as I want <laughs> some health. Other items. Generally, they tend to avoid that fight, or just jump over it. So, uh, it that time. It's, uh, let's not wake up that guy. Okinu? Is that this world now? I'm, I'll try and remember. A lot of weird words, for sure. And speaking of weird words, check this thing out. Els Nova. You're connected through mine machine. I need you to fix power filter. I am dying. Els Nova. How big that freaking thing is. <laughs> Pretty big. Pretty big. We got Kilver now, which goes through walls. Uh, I should have jumped over him. Doesn't look like him too hard on that. I may need to stop and save just for health for this next boss coming up. That was the time where I think I remembered all the bosses' names, but it's it's been too long now. Instead, we're just gonna keep playing through. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna jump up. Kilver happens to do a lot more damage, by the way, than the normal bullets. Which, I mean, it. it Granted, it does look like it would do more damage. For sure. Uh, 
quick save to get some health, and then we'll show you another uh, another little secret strat. I know the strats, at least some of them. An even bigger guy. Hey, bud. Look, I mean no harm. Can we just talk it out? Talk. Yeah, okay. Well, my name is Trace. I have no idea how I got here, but even if there's a kill. Have it your way. So normally, you're sitting here trying to fight this guy like this. Instead, you can just take the damage. Take some free hits right behind him. Big Lummox is not too smart. I'd love to get two hits off every jump. I don't know if I there we go. Boss number two down. Just like that, we're not even, what, 10 minutes in? That, we're just about 10 minutes in. Uh, here's another interesting aspect of this game. You can hack enemies with the address disruptor. Check this out. Not just enemies. Platforms. But if you see anything glitchy in the world, might be able to hack it. I think I'm gonna be. No, I can make this jump, I'm pretty sure. Okay, set jump. Nope. Terrible. And I thought I was good at this game. Uh, alright. I think I'm gonna have to just. Oh, come on. I knew that was gonna be good. That's a feeling. This one gonna make. All right, we got it. We got it this time. Just like that, we get a little more health. And we keep moving on. No, notice this moment. I've only saved the one time, and that's for health. Uh, I don't want to save again. Try to not do that. So. There, as I keep As interesting of a weapon, doesn't really do a lot of damage. Uh, that's a good hack. It's a little spaceship enemies. Just so happens to hack all of them in the room. Kills them all. A lot of cool stuff. Here. Healed up too. Just like that, we're out. Out to the next area. Very well. Sure. Very good ability. We need to sit. Try to go safety. Now I don't know if you noticed right there. 
is a jump that I cannot return from. Right there in that room. So now is the big the big moment to not save. Instead we're gonna take some easier paths. Climb our way up and out as much as we can. This room, man. This this room brings back a lot of memories. Cause uh, you don't jump as high when you're walking in this creek. See, like I can't make that jump. But when I do this, I make the jump. Man, did that annoy me for the longest time. I had no idea to do it first. Real, real dumb. No, left is a... Not save. Do not save. I'm gonna utilize a save warp. Because you return to the last place you save that. When you save it. of important abilities. One of them being uh, a very recognizable ability. From Metroid. Also shout out to probably the most annoying song in the game. Apologies. We won't hang out here too much. Just gotta get a couple things. Disruptor. Jumping ability. We can jump higher. Just like that. High jump. I believe this is a pig. There are secrets, obviously, in this game. What's well, a weapon? Forgot. Uh, it's not that good. <laughs> it does go through that, that little flame tunnel, goes up through walls. in very situational circumstances. Good God, I'm gonna die. Oh boy. Tell me, I hate these things. Just giving myself a run. Smidge in health. Now that we have high jump. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. 
unfortunately have to go back and get another item. Make our way back and down here again. Gotta be very careful. Blue beam doesn't hurt. Do not save. But get some health, my god. Get some health. Now that we got high jump, we can jump up here. I don't think these guys can help. These boys out here take uh can, can get some help. Drop down like that. I should be fine for this kind of section right there. Coming up. Boss fight isn't too bad. Once you know what you're doing. Again, typical thing is to kind of just jump up, get this massive room. Oh crap. Demon of Athedose kill. Goes nothing. This one. filter. Still need more time for poison to clear, but I will be okay for now. Floor drop, let's do, let's do it. World stream and breach, two sides of the universe. Breach is like storm, deadly, cannot be passed. Little Snova has the broken language. This planet, Sudra, is designed to keep Breach in check. Then, many years in past, a man came through. Ethidos. It's a pattern mind. Powerful manipulator. He infected all of Sudra with pathogen. We saw those bodies. Only we survive. Rusalki. Like me. To trap us, he used Breach Attractor. Breach surrounds entire world now. He cannot leave. Athedos is win. Soon he will destroy us and enter rest of World Street. 
Face my sister Ophelia will find you in breach. Only you, no other, can stop Athletus. Not me in this breach? I mean. I am not knowing only Ophelia entered breach. He is damned. Why me? The whole Chosen One story doesn't inspire much confidence. Only Ophelia knows. This is my next task. Well, able to repair drones to fix Ophelia and other Rusalka. Rusalka is the is the multi. Circumvent pathogen. Pathogen is now in all creatures here, but you can heal inside eggs, so maybe not. I'll help you. Not that it seems like I have a choice. Expect some answers from your friend. Good stuff. All good stuff. Hello. A simple lab clip. Lab coat. Check this out. Oh, I can just pass the walls now. It's a good ability. You can pass through solid walls. One block walls. Not so bad. Good find. Now well, maybe we can get that health node. Too. Which ultimately is not a speed strat, by the way. If you if you're really caring. I'm gonna get the health because I am a beta. Beta male. We'll keep moving. And this time I am just gonna take Still moving. This uh generally by speedrunners is like a twenty minute 20 minute loop kind of thing. I think I got it down like that. This first cycle, first section, is like 20 minutes. from Zelda. Now that we can phase through walls, we need another ability. Another couple of abilities. Well, really, it's just the one if I remember right. <laughs> I might remember wrong and have to go through all this again, but that's okay. We're, we're being casual, casual speedrunners. Right Going for any records, no PRs, no WRs, no. I believe it's the top part of this one. Yeah, okay. You need the higher form of basically another upgrade. That's what we're going for right now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I remember what we need now. We need a weapon and then we need an upgrade. We need an ability. Ultimately. And then we need an upgrade. So, we're gonna get to listen to the worst song right now. It's not that bad, but it's, it's a little annoying with the, the moan. Into the best song of the game, in my opinion. So I we're kind of outside. One of the coolest aspects of this. Make a way up. 
unfortunately take some damage, but it's not the end of the world. You're going up again. And, uh, man, there's something about the background, this music, really inspires a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's weird sci-fi imagery. It's, it's really, really cool. Cloudy. With all those orbs in the background, it's like some weird form of terror. This whole huge world. ability. If you like Morph Ball, say hello to the drone. That's right, I get my own independent little drone. And it's very useful, for sure, as you'll see. Let me get the path open. Gotta head back down. Oh man, I didn't want to take that hit. I hate these rocks. That hit me? Oh man. I gotta watch the skies. trick this thing to walking away. Away, you bastard. Thank you. Still low health, but thank you for walking away. Ah. Oh. oh, that feels good. We're about halfway through, through our health again. Yeah, enjoyed the song Cellular Skies, because that's one of the best. Been sitting on my Spotify playlist for a long time. Oh, wrong path. Literally just need this one thing. Right here. Needed the drone to get it. Now once we've got this, I can get through here. There we go. We need a little upgrade before we can trek back to the beginning. And that is the Address Disruptor 2. A lot of these walls could not be hacked before, but now they can be. A lot of enemies for that matter, too. So, save our progress, and we'll return back to Absu. If I were better at this, it would have been Erebu, but that's okay. We'll take those breaks here and there. We, okay, you don't have to be the best in the world. Remember that. 
I'm certainly not. You know, safe over there. Yeah, check out those dead bodies, by the way. That's quite the pile. That's that's a pile. I could even, you know what? As we're as we're looking at this, Ew, we're walking on the dead bodies. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of that's a lot a lot of bodies. And it's just like monuments. Monuments to a different time. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's a there's a bit of a, a bottleneck, I'll say. I'm gonna grab this little note. It's not one hundred percent this, but oh, I can't read this. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe that's something I'll have to come back to. For lore reasons, you know. It's, it's all good stuff. Uh, oh. Guess I am gonna hit Nova again. Uh, what do I need down here? I don't remember. I know I need this. Level 2. This whole thing. I do need a drone for up there. So I think I need to just hang on the drone. Oh, I gotta hit the drone right though. Good, good, good. We get a little bit of extra range to our attacks. Where applicable, that's like, uh, this red bullet does end at a certain point in certain rooms. That range extends it a little bit further. There's other weapons that kind of make you shoot further along. I think I might extend the where the drop of the fire is. Uh, I might have messed that up. I definitely messed that up. We'll reset it. I can't. <laughs> I can't save and quit because I'm. And I just go back to where I was. I find this might be best. Alright, reset the room. Because I went this path, I uh, managed to miss a boss. Normally another boss in between. It's kind of cool. Fragment of a damage node. You get six of them, you get more damage. Easy enough. I 
Definitely need all the damage I can get for the final boss. The man, the myth, the legend, Athatos. Swing around. Take this little drop here, which I didn't know about until right now. Find ourselves a little health node fragment. Might as well get a start on that. Oh, health node fragments are five. Forgot about that. go back to Erebu. First location. moving a lot slower than I thought. Oh. We need to go up. Oh. Oh no, that's... That one is. There are some hidden rooms that are randomized, which is kind of cool. Specifically for story mode. Very, very interesting. It's like entering the breach kind of thing. It's very weird and atmospheric, but it's hard to find them, because there's it's not really telling where they are. Could be anywhere in the massive world. Here we go. The reason why we needed all these items is to cut through that wall using our nice lab coat. There was a man who looked just like me standing over there, then he ran away. I'm going after him. Keep your eyes open, or whatever it is you do. Pretty weird, yeah. Uh, interesting part about this one. You don't actually need to save. Oh, there he is again. Hey you, you stop! Face there's nothing. He was right there. Ooh. What is going on here? Ooh, it's pretty hot in this place. Oh hello. Missing no. Good to see you. I love that one right there. That's a great, great vibe. Good interaction. I'll take things nice and slow. Oh. Somehow kind of slipped off of the platform. These guys can start doing... Lots of damage, if you're not careful. Ugh, Elsa Nova. Something's wrong, I don't feel well. Pathogen starting to affect you. Ophelia's near, she can fix. Please keep calm. Thanks, Athletos. I mean, Elsa Nova. This is one of the coolest little... some health out of you guys. Apparently not, though. Oh. Well, 
Well, it's about time. Oh, sorry, are you Ophelia? There's no such thing as Ophelia. There isn't. How did you know what I was talking about? You know the answer to that. Because you're a hallucination, right? That pathogen is making me see things? Oh yeah. You're seeing things, my guy. There's a good heal. Trying to see faces in the walls. Boss fight. Hang on. Crap, I'm trapped. Trace, please just stay put. I have made contact with Ophelia. Elsa Nova, that man from before, he's here. Demon. Wait, I'm no demon, am I? Athentos say kill. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, guess what? I'm the boss right now. I'm controlling the boss. Unfortunately, I have to die. I have to die real good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I may have skipped some things because of this little secret. Speed running strat. Supposed to be some uh, extra drones helping. Everything hurts, how bad is it? Maybe hard to accept, but your injuries were severe. You will neither walk nor see ever again. I remember now. While I assumed this was all connected to the lab explosion, in fact, that was just an unrelated accident. Frozen pressure valve of all things. Boom. How could I have forgotten? I'd survived the blast and awoken. For months, I was locked in darkness. Blind. I was broken, not just blind, but crippled. But as I lay there helpless thinking, I had an epiphany. An idea that would become a scientific breakthrough. I worked with Dr. Hammond, who recovered completely. Good man. Together we published a new theory of everything. It was a rewriting of physics. The media got wind and loved it. But the physics community decried it as pseudoscience. I was blacklisted and given a nickname. At the toes. Without place. Spoiler, huh? 
that's where the memories end. Over a year of my life, completely forgotten. And somehow, I'm him. Aphetos. Else Nova knows this, but she thinks that I don't. can see. Very odd. So I'm still here. Cleared out the bioflux. Your nan nano gaze should take care. This is Ophelia. It is she who brought you to Sudra. Okay, Ophelia. Why exactly would you do that? Several reasons, but mainly because you, like Athens, are a pattern mind. Means only you could survive as it is. It's our name. It also makes you the only person capable of using his weapons. That gun. You're the only chance to defeat him. Is this something we're born with? To be honest, we don't know. Within the breach, there are many worlds. Athedos came from one, but that's where we started. I entered the breach, where I learned about pattern minds, special individuals. To manipulate reality at will. Using a special device called the Scry, we've searched another pattern mind it's, that can stop it. Only found you on your world, Earth, and extracted you. We know for sure that you're a pattern mind. We do not know why. There will be you guitars there. Nope. <laughs> Pretty normal. I'm fairly confident there's no secret magic going on in my DNA or anything. Are you telling me you sure you're not leaving something out? You're sure. Regardless, you're doing well. Reach extract a tractor and Athetos an elevator above us. Destroy it, we can take care of the rest, but getting inside may take some time. You're done. We send you back home. Okay, looks like I'm off to see the wizard then. Now we must move. Get a little more health. I think I can't make that jump. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Can't make that jump yet. Oh, barely make that jump. There we go. This game is absolutely gorgeous. Hello. It turns out this wasn't a boss room at all. Good, I got saved. Ooh. Alright, interesting thing to note. Check out the background. Hopefully this shows up for you on, on screen. I was just talking about one of these uh, zones that is kind of hidden, right? Check this out. We suddenly have a CRT kind of thing going on. Now, finding the secret might take a little bit of digging, but now I know. It's somewhere in this area. I need another ability to get through. Seems like I do. That's pretty cool, right? We found one. Is it this one or is it the next one? If 
finding secrets all over the place, eh? Cool, when I come back here. Because I'll be coming back here. That is a great thing to find. I was too close. Looks like I dropped back to the bottom. I have to climb back up because I need something while I'm here. Oh, this is the first time I died, apparently. They say do my machines. I'm sorry. Yes, I, I hope I'm misunderstanding something. Can you rephrase that? Oh man, this is insane. I died, and I still me. Maybe, maybe not. This is the question. Are you still you when you die in a game? So, clever avoiding tactics here. I can't get out. Okay. Unfortunately, can't grab that yet. What I do need is on the top of this room. Another coat. An upgrade to the trench coat. Oh, we can suddenly move a little bit more. Not only do we go through one, we can go vertically. And not just on the ground anymore, we can jump in the air. Oh, uh, I forgot about things. It's an awful little creature. Horrible, horrible little creatures. All this for a little secret. The breach. Our best conjecture thus far is that it is a forced relinking of the lattices underlying adjacent universes. The breach attractor, then, has some capacity to shift the points at which the lattices link. The region beyond the breach remains intact as when the breach recedes. The atmosphere and surrounding ocean don't encounter a vacuum in its absence. But there is a strong disturbance in the currents once again, uh, once the two sides meet again. Outside of a breach elevator, passing through the breach can be fatal. The Sudrins, that's why I was saying Sudrin, uh, used this as a makeshift shield to keep out intruders or as in our case, to keep something else trapped in. Based on their writings, it seems that the Sudrans have long ago lost a scientific understanding of what the breach truly is, perceiving it as an intense meteorological phenomena rather than a divider between worlds. 
A7 hypothesized that the breach itself is invisible, and that the effect we see in the sky is in fact a protective shield of microscopic elements covering the frayed ends. Getting into some heavy, heavy notage. For sure. Well, good news is I can avoid a lot of these fights. Bad news is I can't exactly get out of this section. So I go over here. Let's see, do I go left and return to where I came and try to find some items? Or do I go right? Can I pass through over there? No, no. No, I have to go up to the top right. Okay, so I'm gonna go left. Kind of stop along things along the way. Such as this. Fragment. This does become the faster way to travel also, so I'm going to be doing that quite a bit. There's an achievement to hack everything. I still haven't really accomplished it. So for kicks, I'm gonna go, uh, oh, do I go up now? Do I go up now? Nah, I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna try to move on quite a bit. Press as much as I can. Maybe I maybe I'll cross over there. Let's take a look to the left. No, I don't know. Sorry, I'm trying to remember all the things. It's been a little while. Certain certain things I need to get this. Really hard to do diagonal. Diagonal is like one of the most Needed abilities. There you are. I've hidden some of our more sensitive items in the breach pockets appearing here and there. The Rizalki won't go in. It interferes with their electronics. knowledge of, hey, we hid some shit. Away we go. I forget the name of this one, but lovely, lovely soul of this creature. Blow me. The next path I can take. As you can tell when it turns around, not a very long or wide creature. Very long. Nose to the back of the head. Very weird vibes, huh? Cryptic 
coded book. Try to get the rhythm. Tapping a little bit too quick. Now, my knowledge of the speedrun strats has kind of ended at this point. There are some things I know I need to get, and know that I need to go to to get. Essentially. But it's finding my way there that's a little bit. the annoying thing about these guys is that their attacks go through walls. Those big splashes. Hurt. Bunch of bastards is what these things are. I hate them. Who are some roaches? Here's more of them. gonna lead to not a fun not a fun boss. Oh, am I even equipped for this boss? Ah, oh, maybe I should do a little bit searching. Here, yeah, maybe I'm gonna do that. While I'm thinking about it, that's gonna be miserable. Oh, I'm up at Ukina now? Oh, I forgot. That's okay. I can drop down when I go right. I thought I was still down at Absu, which I remember seeing now, the name of. So we're heading down. I just want something better to fight the boss that I'm thinking of. It's a real pain in the ass of what I got. God for post hit invincibility, right? It's the good stuff. The good stuff. Ah, you hit me, now you can't hit me for a little bit. Anything up here? After I fought that second boss, I'm going to go down. Size node. That's going to become very obvious in some of those. Kilver gets huge with the size node. Very good stuff.
paperwork. Oh, I missed the first page. We'll go to that one again. I want to read them for you. Not that one, this one. It calls itself Zeter. I don't know how I know this, but I do. Strange that such a thing would have language. Stranger still, it would have a personal identity. I'm not sure how long I can last. I lose more and more each passing day. Sound is a deafening throb. Sight is a kaleidoscopic fire. Smell and taste open up entire worlds of terror. The worst is touch. A tingling, writhing, itching mass. It is expanding, supplanting. There won't be anything to save when it's done. God, the vibes of this, it's just creepy, isn't it? Not necessarily horror. But you definitely, I can, I mean, I get the alien vibe, for sure. I get the Metroid vibe, the alien vibe. This is not a cute little romp, you know? Instead, we'll find it in the page. Of illegible text. Maybe we'll find more info about that later. That's a really, this is a slow way to go. I don't need to go all the way up. I can just go back down and go through to the right. Okay. Yep. Just take a look at the dead bodies again. Hopefully we don't have to go through there again. I think I've cleared most of this area. That one right there is like the most unique of all these guys, where it attacks with a ton. The weirdest thing. I love it. Very unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see me, I know. Now we find more enemies. Diagonal, damn it. Oh, maybe the up, maybe the up. Oh, I did it. Okay, I did diagonal somehow, too. I will take that. Uh, this is where I'm gonna do this. Oh, lord, these things suck. Oh lord, you can suck. Swap to laser blast. Ooh, that was close. Thankfully, the health of the drone comes back gradually over time. So I am doing this method instead. Oi. Awful creatures, am I right? Got four power fragments. I'm <laughs> literally phased into that. Good job. Oh, maybe I should go back and hack this. Trying to get all the hacks. That's a pretty unique enemy. Oh, I did a first try that time. What if I just go? No. Where are you? Get hacked.
Very good. Very good. We got our we're getting our creatures. Let's see, does this do the same thing? Oh, it does red red bubble. Interesting. Blue ones leave like a block. We have to drill through. Check up here first. Find another page. Another note. Of illegible writing. What could it mean? What might it mean? Ah, who cares? We're getting another range note. That's the more important stuff. Damage and range. All the good things. Ooh, I think I can do this one. If I remember right. Do to dig down? Uh, maybe it's over there? Otherwise, I might need the next coat upgrade. Which is very possible. I might be bad at remembering. Ah, there you are. Look at that. We found it. Good drone, let's go. Now, as you can see, the drone can also cut through blocks. It just so happens. The randomizer happens to sometimes use the drone instead of the big drill that you get. Pretty weird and neat way to play the game. That was community made, implemented by the developer afterward. Very cool stuff. First time I played this, one of the secrets were hidden right here. Secret worlds. Unfortunately not the case this time. Right. Moving on. Wait. Am I forgetting something? I am forgetting something. What I'm forgetting. I want to pick up a weapon over here. one's uh nothing too special for sure might actually replace my normal shot maybe i'll do that it is pretty strong it's a little slow let's pack a bit of a wallop a little slow. Not too bad, though. Good weapon to find. You already looked in there. You already got the power. Nintendo power. Ah. A very specific way to get through that room without taking damage. And I failed it twice now. Yeah, so, uh, the intention at the beginning of the game here was to not have you do that, that run. Because you can't make this jump normally. That's a little ball, unfortunately. 
Not like it matters to us anymore. We're already well past it. Sneak in here and find, I believe, a note. Oh, it's a range node. Even better. Like the energy beam. The syringe lying in the middle of the room. That's just a bit ominous. This contains, how you say, small blood machines, like in your mind. They can provide powerful modification. Please take them. Don't tell me you want me to stick to myself with this thing. Too late. I've transferred necessary info using near connection. Your body will produce now. Injection over wireless? Somehow that's even more terrifying. What did you do to me? You'll find this useful, but only works if you're under injured. Thanks, I guess. Oh yeah, we got we got extra shots. Think of it like the sword beam. Except a lot weaker. And just like that it wasn't bad. And it's bad. While I'm at it, I might as well fill out the map a little more. The save rooms happen to be two squares wide. That's another aspect I gotta remember to fill out. Looks like I got full health on that one. That note gave me the goods, the good goods. Some of you might like this next room. No, I didn't. I never saw it. Those things suck, by the way. Little bottom feeding disgusting creatures. Ugh. Stick on you. Hey, look at this room. This looks a little familiar, huh? Keep the mother brain away this time. Instead, take ourselves another power node fragment. About five now. I'm so close to getting more damage. Which is just great, because you can break through walls like it's nothing later in the game. Get off of me, you parasite. Ugh. Demon creatures, I hate them. The worst. These little jumpy guys are weird, but fine. Ugh, that reminds me I need to hack him. Damn it. I need to hack him. Back we go, just to do the hack.
stuff. Now this room, I have, I have PTSD over. Because you're stuck with your drone the whole time. You're expected to get through a multitude of rooms without taking a lot of damage. Let's sit here and take these guys out real quick. Good. Creatures. These guys, get away from me. As annoying as they are on Trace, they're even worse on this thing. Just run away from him. brown fox jumped over a lazy sleeping dog. What, pray tell, is a fox? English, the thought long ago succumbed to evolution's merciless twisting lever, seems to be with us once again. Queen Elizabeth I has bestowed upon us a new dream. Come into my arms, we have much to learn. Weird stuff. Very weird stuff. might seem a little familiar, but the one we just were at. So these ones are a little bit slow, thankfully. Ah, uh, yes. Varange. I do like Varange a lot. I think I might need to call it soon on this first episode. Yeah, maybe I'll, I think I'll call it. I don't, I don't want to annoy you. Here's the ranch. It's just a very large beam. Very nice. So anyway, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching this uh, first episode of Axiom Verge. We'll play a little bit more next time soon. I appreciate you. 2015 is when this game came out. And my life has been changed. Ever since. <laughs> you know what you know what's up. Have a good one dear. Talk to you later. You have a good good day dear. <laughs> Bye.